And before we proceed to the storyline kindly like this video, comment for more reaction and share to your friends. And let's begin. Larry Alexander Nakuafonasir, born May 13, 1982, is a Filipino former professional basketball player. He serves as the team manager for the NLEX Road Warriors of the Philippine Basketball Association. He was drafted 14th overall by the Red Bull Baraco in the 2005 PBA draft. Nicknamed the Babyface Assassin, he became known as a reliable three-point shooter and reliable defender. Fonasir is the firstborn son of the family, and he was an only child until his younger sister was born. Since he was an only child, he socialized by playing basketball. His father played tennis, so when he was five years old, he learned to shoot by trying to shoot tennis balls into a small makeshift rim. At night, he watched PBA games, especially those of his favorite team Pure Foods. While watching games on television, he tried his best to copy the moves of his favorite player, Alvin Patrimonio, and dutifully wrote down Patrimonio's stats on his school notebook. He also participated in camps held by the Milo Best Basketball Efficiency and Scientific Training Center. Larry first played for the 8 Neo de Manila High School Blue Eaglets in the University Athletic Association of the Philippines Juniors Basketball Division, leading them to numerous winning seasons and championships along with Enrico Villanueva, Wesley Gonzalez, B.J. Manalo, and Baggi Del Rosario. He was named the UAAP Juniors MVP in 1999 as 8 Neo swept the competition 14-0. He moved to the college ranks the following year. In his rookie year, under coach Joe Lipa, he played consistent minutes coming off the bench. The Blue Eagles managed to secure a twice-to-beat advantage against the Far Eastern University Tamaraz. Despite having the twice-to-beat advantage, they were defeated in both games. The Eagles would have faced the De La Salle Green Archers in a best-of-three series finals. The following year, in 2001, Larry started in all of the games and played a significant role in the team. The team finished with 10 wins and 4 losses. They, again, secured a twice-to-beat advantage against the Far Eastern University Tamaraz. They defeated Far Eastern University Tamaraz 67-63 then faced the De La Selle Green Archers in the best of three finals. The Eagles lost in Game 3 despite a 30-point game from freshman L.A. Tenorio. The score was 93-88. During the summer, the Ateneo Happy team joined the Commercial and Amateur Philippine Basketball League and won the championship under coach Joel Banal. At the start of the 65th season of the UAAP, with a championship-caliber coach in Banal, the 8 Neo de Manila community had very high hopes of finally ending the 14-year drought. Fonasier scored 14 points, including 8 points with back-to-back -back threes in overtime, to lead the team to a win over FEU. The Eagles ended with 4 wins and 3 losses in the first round of the tournament, but lost their next two games, giving them a record of 4 wins and 5 losses. Most of the 8 Neo community had lost hope. The Eagles, however, pulled off five straight wins to end the elimination round with nine wins and five losses and claim third seed. Furthermore, they spoiled the De La Salle Green Archers' chances of sweeping the 14-game eliminations, which would have given them an outright berth in the championship round. Larry scored 15 points and grabbed six rebounds in that 76-63 win over the Green Archers. The Eagles would then face the UE Red Warriors. The team won both games and faced the De La Salle Green Archers in the finals in a best-of-three series. In Game 1, Larry scored 11 points and had two crucial blocks against Mark Cardona in the game's dying seconds. In Game 2, Larry scored his college career high of 25 points but lost the game by 8 points. In Game 3, Larry scored only 6 points because of food poisoning but the team finally ended the 14-title-year drought winning the UAAP Men's Basketball Championship with the score of 77-70. Larry was named co-finals MVP, along with Wesley Gonzalez, averaging 11.7 points per game. In 2003, Bonasier scored 18 points in a win over the UST Tigers. He then had 15 points, with 8 in the clutch, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists against UE as 8 Neo stretched its win streak that season to 6. He missed their next game, which was against the NU Bulldogs, due to a fractured nose bridge he sustained in team practice, and 8-0 lost. 
That season, the Blue Eagles made it to the finals but lost to the FEU Tamaraz. In 2004, Larry's last year, he only played four games in that season. He suffered an ACL injury on his left knee while driving to the basket in the fourth game against UP that ended his UAAP career. The team and the 8 Neo community rallied behind him as they held a mass at the 8 Neo Chapel. That season, 8 Neo swept the first round of eliminations, but were eliminated once again by La Salle. Before entering the PBA, Bonasir continued to rehab from his ACL injury and took master's classes in communications. 20, he then applied for the 2005 PBA draft. He was then selected by Red Bull Baraco with the 14th pick. In his rookie season, Fonasier helped Red Bull win a Fiesta Conference championship. In the next conference, the Philippine Cup, he helped Red Bull reach the finals, where they lost to the Pure Foods Chunky Giants in six games. He won the PBA Rookie of the Year award during the 2005-2006 season. This made him the lowest-picked player in PBA history to win the award until Aaron Black broke the record. In a 92-89 loss to the Air 21 Express during the 2006-2007 season, Fonasier had a chance to make a game-winning play, but his pass was stolen by Yancey Diocampo. During that time, he was named as an All-Star and played for the North All-Stars team in the 2007 PBA All-Star Weekend. He also participated in that year's three-point shootout. Fonasier was then traded to the Magnolia Beverage Masters. There, he split time with Lordy Tugade, Chris Collegio, and former 8 Neo teammate Wesley Gonzalez on a team that was in win now mode. After some games with Magnolia, he was then dealt to the Alaska Aces with his teammate L.A. Tenorio in exchange for Ken Bono and Mike Cortez. It was expected that he would be given the same role Alaska legend Jojo Lastimosa used to have with the team. He had to master coach Tim Cohn's triangle offense and come off the bench which took some time to adjust for him. In a win over the Coca-Cola Tigers during the 2008-2009 Philippine Cup, Fonasier scored 13 points with three three-point shots. Alaska made it to the finals, where in Game 5, he recorded 15 points and six rebounds. However, they lost their next two games, and the talk end Tex Tropang Texters became champions. During the 2010 PBA draft, he was traded by the Aces to the Talk and Text Tropang Texters in exchange for the draft rights of Elmer Espiritu. This was done because Talk and Text had just traded away Matt Cardona. He was able to contribute as Talk and Text won the 2010 to 2011 Philippine Cup. He then had clutch free throws in a win over the Moralco Bolts during the 2011 Commissioners Cup. The Tropang Texters won the Commissioners Cup finals in six games. During the Governor's Cup, he had a career-high 27 points on 8 of 11 shooting from 3 in a win over the Powerade Tigers. For that performance, he won Player of the Week. The Texters topped the elimination round, but lost to the Petron Blaze Boosters in 7 games in the finals. In the Game 1 of their Philippine Cup semis against Petron, Fonasier scored half of his 22 points in the fourth quarter and made two clutch free throws to secure the win. From there, they lost their next three games and went down 3-1, but they overcame that deficit and defeated Patron. Talk and Text beat the Powerade Tigers in the 2011-2012 Philippine Cup Finals and he was chosen as Finals MVP. They made the Finals once again in the Commissioner's Cup, but lost to the BMEG Lamados in seven games. He won the Mr. Quality Minutes Award that season for his valuable contributions off the bench and leading the team in minutes played. Talk and Text started the 2012-2013 season 4-0, with them getting their fourth win by Fonasier scoring 18 of his 26 points in the first half and hitting clutch shots in the fourth to go along with seven rebounds against the San Mig Coffee Mixers. They got their fifth straight win with him scoring seven of his 12 points in the fourth quarter against the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters. Their streak ended at the hands of Alaska when he missed a shot that could have sent that game into overtime. Against Barangay Ginebra, he had 16 points, but fouled out of the game as Ginebra managed to hang on for the win. The Texters made it to the semifinals against Alaska where in Game 3, he had 21 points after not making any three-pointers in the first two games. They managed to beat Alaska to return to the finals.
From there, they swept rain or shine in four games. This championship was sweeter for Fonasir, as this was coach Norman Black's first conference with TNT, and he was able to share this championship with multiple coaches from his time at 8 Neo. In the 2013 Commissioner's Cup, Fonasir had 18 points in a win over Patron. He then went on a shooting slump in his next nine games as he averaged 4.4 points on 22% shooting from the field. He also played in the All-Star Game during the 2013 All-Star Weekend as a member of Gila's Pilipinas. After his stint with Gila's, he returned for the 2013 Governor's Cup, in which he had 19 points in a win over the Global Port Bat on Pier. They didn't qualify for the playoffs that conference as they lost to Ginebra in the 8th seed playoff. In the 2014 Commissioner's Cup, Bonasier had 16 points with four three-pointers in a win over the Barocco Bull Energy as Talk Text started the conference with four straight wins. He followed that up with 14 points in a win over Moralco. Heading into the All-Star break, the Texters were 7-0. He then participated in the three-point shootout during the 2014 All-Star weekend and was an All-Star playing for Gila's once again. In the 2014-2015 Philippine Cup, Fonasier had 11 points with back-to-back -back threes at the end of the third quarter in a win over Baraco. In a close Commissioner's Cup game against NLEX in which they were up by one with eight seconds remaining, he called a timeout even though the team didn't have one. NLEX import Al Thornton tied the game on a technical free throw, but Fonasier's teammate Jason Castro won the game for talk and text with a pull-up jumper. Talk and Text won the Commissioner's Cup title that season. In the Governor's Cup, he scored a season-high 20 points in a win over the Blackwater Elite. During the offseason, Fonasier re-signed a three-year deal to stay with Talk and Text for three more years. The Texters got their first win of the season when he contributed 11 points against the Mahindra Enforcer. He then had 16 in a win over Blackwater. In the 2016 Commissioner's Cup, he missed a game against NLEX due to sickness. They lost to Alaska in a best-of-three quarter-final series in that conference, despite 19 points from him in Game 3. They then started the Governor's Cup with six straight wins, but lost to Mahindra despite 13 points from him in that game. In a win over Global Port, he had 14 points and a crucial offensive rebound that allowed Ranadal Dio Campo to make the game-winning shot for TNT. He then had a season-high 21 points in 32 minutes off the bench to go along with 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal as they increased their record to 9-1. TNT made it to the semifinals against Moralco where in Game 3, he had 20 points, but Moralco took the series lead 2-1. They lost the next game, and Moralco moved on to the Governor's Cup Finals. In a 2016-2017 Philippine Cup game, Fonasier had 15 points as they got their first win of the season over Ginebra. He then had 16 points on four triples along with four boards, one assist, and one steal in 28 minutes in a win over Alaska. With a new head coach in Nash Rasila, he enjoyed a career resurgence as in their first five games of the conference, he averaged 10.8 points built around 2.2 triples, 3 rebounds, 1.4 assists, and 0.8 steal in 27.3 minutes. TNT finished the elimination round with a record of 6-5. In Game 1 of their quarterfinals series against Global Port, he had 17 points and went 5-9 of nine from distance. They moved on to the semis against the San Miguel Beermen, where in a Game 4 loss, he had a team-high 15 points. However, he was given a rare technical foul for disrespectfully addressing the referee just when the team was at the height of a fourth-quarter rally. He led the team with 14 points in a Game 7 loss, and the Beermen moved on to the finals. Fonasier also competed once again in the three-point shootout during the 2017 All-Star Week. In his final game with TNT, he had 14 points on 5 of 10 shooting, with four of his shots coming from beyond the arc. In a 14 trade, Fonasier went from playing for TNT to playing for the NLEX Road Warriors. TNT gained Anthony Semerad and a first-round pick from Global Port. With NLEX, he reunited with his former head coach from Red Bull, Coach Guio, and assumed the role of a veteran for the young NLEX team. 
He didn't play for NLEX in the 2017 Commissioner's Cup, as he had underwent surgery for bone spurs and with NLEX not in the playoffs, had no need to rush his recovery. In the 2017 Governor's Cup, he had 12 points in a win over Ginebra. He then had 16 points, 7 boards, 2 assists, 2 steals, and only 1 turnover in 30 minutes in an upset win over Moralco. NLEX then clinched a spot in the quarterfinals with a 103-100 win over SMB as he logged 16 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, and 1 steal in 29 minutes. He stepped up in the clutch as he made two clutch triples, inbound the ball that led to free throws for J.R. Quinahan, and blocked Alex Kabignot's attempt to send the game into overtime. With his performance in that game, he earned a PBA Press Core Player of the Week citation. In the quarterfinals, they lost to the Star Hotshots. During the 2017-2018 Philippine Cup, Bonasier had 12 points, including a four-point play that gave NLEX a four-point lead that eventually led to the win over the Kia Picanto. He had 12 again in a Christmas Day win over Global Port. They had their first loss of the season against the Phoenix Fuel Masters despite him scoring a team-high 22 points. NLEX lost three more games after that, but they were able to stop the losing streak with a win over Ginebra in which he produced 17 points on 7 of 12 shooting. Then he contributed 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 block while also going 4 of 4 from 3 as Kiefer Ravina made the game-winning jumper over the bolts. In a win over the Aces, he, Kevin Alas, and Raul Soyad combined for 45 points. They faced Alaska again in the quarterfinals where in Game 1, he had 18 points and 9 rebounds. From there, they moved on to the semifinals where they lost to the Hotshots in 5 games. In the 2018 Commissioner's Cup, Fonasier had an all-around performance of 12 points, 7 boards, and 6 assists in a win over the Colombian Dipe. He also competed once again in the three-point shootout during the 2018 All-Star Week. He then had 14 points and a loss to his former team TNT. He was then ruled out for the rest of the Commissioner's Cup after a collision in midair with Ginebra's Jervy Cruz led to a bruised rib and a collapsed lung. Fonasier made his return in the first game of the Governor's Cup against TNT. In that game, he had 17 points and the win, making 50% of his 10 shots from the field. In Lex's first three games, he had led NLEX to a 2-1 record, despite the absence of Coach Guio, multiple injured players, and him not at full strength. He then led the team to another win, this time over the Dipe. In Lex's win over Blackwater, Coach Guio returned, NLEX snapped Blackwater's four-game winning streak, and he scored 24 points on 8 of 13 shooting. He then led NLEX with 21 points in losses to Ginebra and Moralco. That conference, they lost to Ginebra in the first round. In the 2019 season, Fonasier played in less games. This was mostly due to an injury. On April 4, 2019, he was reactivated. He scored seven points in a loss to the Baton Pier. In 2020, Fonasier didn't join the team in the PBA bubble as his wife had health issues. He still attended team meetings and workouts and also assisted the coaching staff. Fonasier rejoined NLEX the following year. He skipped the 2021 Philippine Cup due to personal reasons. He was then assigned to Lex's 3x3 team, the Cavatex Braves. In 2022, Fonasier was reactivated by NLEX at the start of the 2022-2023 PBA season. In his final conference, he played in seven games and averaged 1.2 points as the Road Warriors didn't make the playoffs. His contract expired on December 31, 2022, and he did not renew his contract. Fonasier began playing for the Philippine team in 2006, when the team participated in the Alamadi International Basketball Championship. They finished fourth in that tournament. In 2012, Fonasier participated in the 2012 Jones Cup with a team mostly composed of PBA pros. The Philippine team won that tournament. He also played in the 2012 FIBA Asia Cup. In that tournament, they lost to Qatar and settled for fourth place. They went on to win the silver medal. In 2013, 
Bonasir was part of the team that played in the 2013 FIBA Asia Championship. His best game was in a loss to Chinese Taipei, in which he had a team-high 21 points with five three-pointers. They went on to win the silver medal in that tournament. The following year, Fonasier begged off the from the national pool, as he had been playing through multiple back and foot injuries and needed to rehab. On January 7, 2023, NLAX announced that Fonasier had retired and that he would stay with the team as its team manager. Fonasier is married and they have two sons. He is a devoted Christian. After suffering an ACL tear in college, he turned his life around and started to have a life of faith in Jesus. He has attended Bible studies led by Dylan Ababu. Phonasier is known as a quiet person who rarely got into trouble. He isn't active on social media, but has spoken up on political issues such as when he posted his thoughts about the anti-terrorism bill. For more videos like this please subscribe the channel, like the video and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you very much.